Now you might wonder why we don't see Primus more often, it's actually because they have a very low drop chance. Now let's look at some of the numbers behind Primus and how to get them faster. And of course we're going to use the best tool available. This is a really high tech and advanced program. And of course that program is Notepad. All right, so we over Notepad, we're going to do some math. We have the three items, we have just the legendary we then have the ancient legendary and of course the primal ancient now the chance to get just an ancient is actually a one in ten chance so for every 10 items you find statistically one of them should be an ancient and now for the crazy part primal ancient is actually a one in 400 chance meaning statistically you have to find 400 items before you find a primal so as you can see this is a very low drop chance and of course the one in 400 chance is also equal to a 0.25 percent chance of every item being primal ancient in order to get the maximum amount of loot from a greater we have to do gr90s so as long as you're doing gr90s or above you're going to get the maximum amount of loot from a greater with so you want to make sure that you are playing a build where you can farm gn90s as a minimum and then a build that can do them in about two to three minutes so basically over the years of this game it has been theorized that the best drs to do is what you can do in two to three minutes and then of course doing them as high as possible but at this point in the game this is very easy of course just make sure you find a good build there are plenty of resources to find really good builds like my channel or max roll so find something that looks fast and fun for you of course now when you're doing a gn90 or above you are guaranteed to find 12 items per dr and this can of course be a combination of different items so jewelry normal items you can once in a while get a yellow or a blue item but you're guaranteed to find 12 items and as we mentioned before in order to get a primal there's about a one in 400 chance so that means if we then do 400 and we divide it by 12 this comes out you have to do 33 grs average to get one primal so as you can see this is also why it's super important that we find a really good build that can run drs in a pretty fast time because if it takes you five minutes to do one greater with having to do 33 drs is going to take forever in order to get primals now i typically go for builds that can do greaters in about two and a half minutes i find that to be kind of my sweet spot but of course what works for you and the build you're playing some builds are faster and some builds are a bit slower than others but let's say you're playing a build that can do it in a two and a half minutes and of course there's a bit of time for upgrading your gems salvaging getting everything ready to go again so let's say all in all you can do a gr every three minutes so of course as the math before we say we're going to use three minutes per greater with and we want to do 33 greater widths so that of course comes out to 99 minutes now of course this is all just rng in these 99 minutes you can get lucky and get four primals you could also farm for eight hours and not see a single primal now there are of course also builds that can do grs a lot quicker than this i have a build i'm going to show you in just a minute here where you can actually do your grs in one minute that's right you can do a greater if in one minute and as long as you're doing a gr90 or above you're going to get the maximum amount of loot per hour so let's say it takes one minute per gr and of course there's also a bit of downtime so let's say it is 1.5 minute for doing a greater if that also allows us for salvaging and all that etc as before or of course if we then say 1.5 and then again times it by 33 because that's the amount of graduates we need to do in order to reach the 400 number that'll come up to 49 and a half minutes so as you can see if we can get our drs done in under one minute we're actually able to statistically get a primal every hour or even less by the way you can get these numbers down a lot more so for instance with good efficiency it wouldn't take you 49 minutes to do 33 grs you could easily get this down to maybe 40 minutes or even less if you're really efficient so in order to actually unlock primals you have to do a dr 70 solo so that means doing what's equivalent to a torment 15 after doing this 70 solo it will guarantee you a primal drop on that dr 70 and then after that it can actually drop from anywhere in the game enough talk let's actually look at a build that can run dr hundreds in about a minute or so so this is the god gr build is actually known really really known for being really quick and really efficient so basically we're able to do gr 90s in about a minute i can actually go all the way up to do about 100 to 105 in the same amount of time so about a minute and the build basically just is all about just removing damage uh, but it's because the build has plenty of it just from the six piece alone and then getting a ton of movement speed now i'm not saying that this is the best way to do it it is just a way if you really want to farm uh, primals and you want to look, look really cool for your friends this build is really really great and really really fun to do it but usually when i'm playing this game i aim for something a bit different so for instance i would do higher drs so maybe 120 to 125 and i would do them about two and a half minutes so i really wouldn't recommend playing this kind of build unless you are like at least 2000 paragon and just really want primals so we're gonna kill the rift guardian right here 
and there you go and that was 59 seconds right and of course again we had 12 items drop so we're gonna do 33 GRs and then in average we should find one primal if you want to know how you can get to three or even four thousand paragon every season even without playing eight hours a day it's actually quite easy once you know the few hidden tricks as to how to increase your efficiency then watch this guide here as it contains the best tips and tricks you need to start farming paragon like a pro and i'll see you in that video peace out everyone